everyone, welcome to Sligzy. Today I have a special video for you guys where I will be uh, showcasing my whole city up to now. And uh, so this will be 42 episodes of, um, of videos that I have made on my city. And I will now just make one video showing everything that has been built so far. I thought uh, it's a good moment to share with you guys uh, my progress of the city uh, because uh, well I have done quite a lot and I'm at 165,000 inhabitants and uh, honestly I wouldn't be surprised if this uh, game just crashes at some point and I just lose everything due to mods or something like that so I just want to be safe and I want to make a recap of the whole city so this is what I am doing today I was thinking about starting with the downtown area, so bear with me as it might lag a little bit due to FPS uh, FPS um, uh, drops, but this is only done in the downtown area, so don't worry guys. So this is the skyline, alright, and uh, so I'll show you guys what the skyline looks like from different directions. Uh, so yeah. So this is the tallest tower, obviously, the Willis Tower from Chicago. Um, and in downtown, we have uh, quite a few main arteries. This one, over he this one over here, this one over here, and this one over here, this one over here. Then we also have the ones in the other direction. But why I am telling, talking to you guys about these four ones, it's because they are directly pulled out of my hometown, which is Montreal. So... Right over here, this is René Lévesque Boulevard. This is uh, St. Catherine Boulevard. This is Maisonneuve Boulevard. And this is Sherbrooke Boulevard. So, I just thought that would be cool to share with you guys. I also have other buildings from my hometown of Montreal, such as the Bell Center over here, which is um, an arena where uh, hockey teams play and uh, where they have... Uh, concerts things like that there's also this tower which is the tallest building in montreal uh which i haven't and it is actually like like in actual montreal it is placed in this location and the bell center is probably like so this is the bell center like the auditorium is probably somewhere over here but in front of this building there is this road and then there is a building that looks just like this so I find that's pretty interesting and then over here there is a park over here so there are quite a lot of similarities in the downtown area to Montreal so uh, and I'll, I'll tell you guys a bit more as the video um, rolls through of what is similar to Montreal and what is not so over here there is a nice uh, central plaza uh, for tourists and uh, people that like shopping and taking nice pictures of the towers and this plaza continues over here and here has uh, some very cool statues of founders and uh, such things and uh, so this is St. Catherine over here which is the main artery for commercial buildings but then over here it continues once again into a little plaza which is one of my favorite actually this one looks very very nice and uh, there's very nice buildings around it as well and over here there is another plaza as you can see and uh, I really liked the the concept of plazas because it opens up the skyline and the buildings and it gets rid of all the clutters this over here must be my f one of my favorite parts of the city this uh, roundabout over here yeah, just bear with me a little bit. The game is saving. That's why it just paused a little bit here. But in five second tops, everything will be back to normal. Okay, five seconds have passed. Let's give it another five seconds. Okay, all right. All right, so you see, don't, don't got to worry about things like that. I know my game, and I know how bad it gets. And that's why I want to release this video. So... Okay, so this is a very cool roundabout, which I adore. And I really love the buildings around it as well. 
And this is, like, the center point of the whole town, city, actually. So, that's pretty cool. Anyway, so, as you continue, you know, there's uh, a bunch of skyscrapers everywhere and whatnot. Over here, I built a little construction area where they are building this skyscraper. Let me just adjust the light so that we s the sun so that we see it better. All right, so here there is a construction area with these uh, holes and a bunch of props that I have placed at some point when it was all about this construction place. And uh, yeah, so then over here there was a soccer field, but it the the asset got removed or something here is a very large park which i really really fell in love with when i was building it and look at the view so and over here there is an opera house which is right on the banks of the river so talk about crazy views and crazy location and so and then you arrive here and and then all over here are just like a bunch of residential buildings, very New Yorky stylish, uh, New Yorky style. And uh, why the hell am I saying New Yorky style? That sounds so bad. But anyway, it just sounds like New York, okay? Not New Yorky style. And um, you know, I have a bunch of buildings like this building from Dubai, I, I think it is. And you know, it's just all a nice little mix of the most beautiful buildings in my opinion that I was able to find on the workshop okay so over here there so there are even a few more little plazas and whatnot I'm gonna go down on the road to show you guys better so a plaza with very very tall buildings I mean this is gonna crack that neck uh, f it's, it's tall it's it's they're tall but uh, so, so let's say, okay, how about I just do a part of the tour now on the street level? Because it's going to be better and more uh, atmospheric. So this over here is Maison Neuve, which is the, like a very, very, very main artery for like, skyscrapers. Like the tallest ones are on this road. And over here is another cool little plaza that I like a lot that just opens up the whole area. And... It's just a very, very cool place. I love it. Then over here, back on St. Catherine, uh, this is the Radio Tower Park over here, which has this beautiful radio tower. I believe it is from Berlin, for any curious watchers, viewers. And we're a bit further from, from, the, from, the, from downtown over here, but we still are from the skyline, you know? So, uh... Yeah, so that is why. So that is why um, it's a bit further, you know. But or else, like if it was here, we couldn't even notice it if, uh, from all these tall skyscrapers. So this over here is a, another very interesting road I find that is pretty central to downtown. Let me just adjust the light so we can ah much better, much better. Okay, so a very nice road, and what's cool though is that this boulevard over here, Maison Neuve, which has all the tall skyscrapers, I didn't want to make an intersection f to create traffic, so I just made it go underneath the road, and all the pedestrians that were just walking about, you know, they just continue on this, on these very cool, um, these very cool these things I, I don't I forgot what they're called but these these cool little passages passage things anyway we got the gherkin we got the flat iron building very very nice it's 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 a pretty fancy place this is st. Catherine the main commercial artery which uh, has a bunch of 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 just very cool buildings and they want to attract the customer so they got that booty everywhere on deck and here what do we got we got them um, titties <laughs> and uh, yeah so this building two is from Montreal this one over here 
which is called Place Ville Marie. You can call it PVM if you like. Then we got them fresh cars. We got a bunch of things. Whoa. Anyway, <laughs> so here actually we actually have a church right in this location, which is not green like this weird Shrek shirt church, but you know. Anyway, so things, and then over here we get to uh, this place that I was working on, which is not fully finished, but I was kind of trying to make a more like European vibe over here. Um, yeah, I kind of gave up on it just because, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I will finish it eventually. And then, you know, it's just so then there's it just continues and continues here. Okay, let me take care of the sunlight all right so so this is the skyline all right downtown as we see it over here there is a highway which goes then underneath and then comes out over here and continues and goes all the way over here but we'll get to that we'll get to that so, um, yeah, so I showed you these things. Now, uh, I'll show you the university that we have over here, which has a very, very cool campus and interesting buildings, such things. Then what is cool is that we have this very large mountain here. So eventually all of these roads start going uphill, which is very cool. And I really like that concept. So over here, this road starts going up. And over here in these walls, there's a little student town, which is full of like residence buildings where um, the people from the university, the students, they, they, uh, they sleep here and they party. And it's a cool hub for... Uh, for young people and here they have more like individual homes but they're all students and they have a little baseball field so we have a little student enclave over here but this road then continues and just goes on and then it's just it goes on so you put the pedal to the metal then you arrive here to a to the town of Belmont and uh, by the way, guys, I don't know if I have mentioned it, but this my town is called Montreal, and over here it, there's Belmont, which is this part, this whole this thing over here, and it is probably the richest neighborhood in Montreal. I have a lot of rich neighborhoods, but over here there are, it's a big neighborhood, and everyone in the neighborhood's rich, so it has like the most, um, like overall the most money. You know, this over, so this over here is the main road, which has a few cool shops and things and a uh, little plaza over here with a metro station. And here you can eat and uh, have a good time. Here we have a little town hall and uh, yeah, so it's a nice little town, not much, you know, and it's it quickly gives way to nature. And to enter the the houses, you got to pass through these uh, gates because they're it's very private. It's not just for anyone and it's expensive. These are very, very, ex it's a very expensive neighborhood. But if you come over here and this is open for everyone right over here there, you can park your car. And then over here you have, it's like a lookout point and you have very, very, one of the nicest views of downtown there are a bunch of lookout points on the mountain obviously because a mountain would logically have lots of points of views but this place is very nice and it's open to people and it has a little chalet here where they host events and it's a cool spot you know this was my first um, lookout place that I made so I really it has it's lots of sentimental value and then if you want to enter it to into the homes like to the, the, the residential neighborhood of Belmont, where it is rich as turkey legs. On yeah, I don't know, nah, no turkey legs. But yo, so yeah, where if you want to enter here, where it's super rich, well then you just go and um, 
you know, you, you go home and you do what you gotta do. And what is cool is that these roads are very, very, very um, interestingly shaped. They're not straight at all. And they just go up and down and up and down. And especially this part over here where there is a tram that passes, which is cool. But this part is a very, very, it's placed on some very rugged terrain. And at this point, we're pretty high up and on the mountain and we're pretty far from town. So if you have a property here, you have very, very nice views on downtown. And as you can see, the road is pretty treacherous. It's, uh, I find this very, very interesting. It's just, you know, it just shows how people had to cope with the, the geography of the place. So this is Belmont Hills, uh, which is character characterized by, well, it's not characterized by it. This is separated. It's actually not part of Belmont Hills, but this nice road over here, which, um, uh, is next, which, uh, is right next to this beautiful park then leads to even higher up on the hill where we get to um, Parliament Hill over here where they have a man-made lake and everything just uh, to make everything beautiful but it's because over here there are is all are all the government facilities because this is the capital town capital city of um, our fic fictitious empire of Slixania. So uh, over here we have like a, an embassy and here like a bunch of things and, uh, you know, like government buildings, official buildings where they have like people write documents and whatnot. And over here a very, very nice park which leads to another official building which leads to the freaking White House. So um, over here the president lives and and yeah so well if you guys want to get technical with me like Montreal's in Canada so we don't have a president we have a prime minister but someone actually told me that hey uh, you know uh, in Canada anyway he just you know whatever I don't want to get technical with it but here is or the prime minister lives or the president or the leader of the country Here's where the leader of the country lives. And here there is another house for, uh, I don't know, for like his, for more more of his family or his aunts or, his, or like his uh, uncle or his parents or something. If they want to come, they, uh, they want to visit him, they stay here. And everything is isolated with beautiful fences. Well, they're not <laughs> beautiful, but whatever, with fence, secure fences. That's what it's all about. Not, anyway, and gotta put those Canadian flags, you know, gotta appropriate this, the White House, to the situation, and, uh, it has very nice grounds, and, uh, with this path, and, uh, very, very cool place to be, and, uh, then it has this private road over here, which leads to here, which this boulevard, then, which I, I find is a very, very, it's like a particularly beautiful, uh, boulevard, it w then, leads into and to the right over here it's it's still Belmont Hills by the way and th then it it gets smaller and over here on this road if you want to go to the White House which you obviously can't unless you're some special guy and then you come here to this roundabout with a beautiful fountain and if you come here you enter the cemetery which is this whole thing enclosed by these walls and uh so this is the south part of the cemetery, and there's also the northern part of it, which uh, you cross over here, and the road passes underneath, you see? And then you come here where it's uh, private crypts and uh, mausoleums and whatnot, so for the richer fellas, and then you can go up the hill, and they have little chapels, and it goes in the hill, and... Uh, then you get like actual m crypts and even you know cool mausoleums and uh, so they have like it's pretty big it's this whole area over here so they have more room if they want to expand you know they bought all this land let's say pretty it's the main uh, it's the main cemetery so then if you continue down this road you're kind of you know 
basically out of town at this point you enter the national park but let's finish with the town with uh, the city first um, okay so I'll, I'll try to be quicker I don't know how long it's been so far so over here is the main highway which passes through the town the city for God's sakes I don't know why I keep on saying town and then over here there's like the biggest interchange in uh, on my of my map, and uh, because then it it separates into this highway which I showed you last time. I mean, in the beginning of the video, excuse me, and then as well into this highway which leads into the neighboring town of Cape Lennon, and um, yeah, and then the highway continues over here. So I want to show you this part over here, which is kind of like, if you've ever been to Miami, you know there's Miami Beach, which is like a little adjoined, uh, it's like a little piece where there's a bunch of, of uh, skyscrapers and it's very rich and whatnot. So this is kind of what this looks like. They have a, a big chunk of uh, condominiums here. Um, over here, a very, very, very interesting looking park with uh, cool places for for cool people and uh, so then there's this continental part and then you can cross on these little bridges and you come on the little island of of um, of doesn't have a name guys of uh, Slickawackus and uh, yeah so this is the island of Slickawackus which has everything you need and you're looking for and uh, then over here it it's it's it starts to be more of like a tourist destination place they have beaches they have such things uh, they have here a nice little church over here a cool park with a bunch of hotels same thing for here this is this looks pretty good this part with the big uh, Hilton, I believe this one, and they have some canals too. And so this is the main continental downtown, and here we have the island of La Ronde, which you can access through this bridge. And there's also a tram that passes on this little bridge next to it, and you arrive here, and uh, it's it's a very very cool place. Uh, this here's the marina with very cool buildings and it looks very very cool many parks and casinos over here because this is the main is the main road which is full of casinos so let's say you go down on street level you know it looks I like it a lot it has a very very nice appeal to it it's charming it's yeah I like it look at those lights on top of the palm and uh, so yeah so then if you go so, so this whole place is very very touristic and uh, like I would I would love to to stay here a few nights with all these hotels here with a helicopter and uh, very nice place I like it a lot here there is a nice little place where probably everyone takes pictures with the skyline in the back yeah pretty nice so this is the eye this is uh, the this is the western tip of uh, La Ronde Island which yeah I like I like a lot look at this I like this little floral arrangements here and these little homes here but as you continue here, well, then here there's like a bunch of beach houses that you can rent and then go on the beach. But as you go here, what do you see? Amusement park. So the main entrance to the amusement park. So let's say you arrive here. There's sub, there's you come down here. Da, da, da. And if you go this way, you go to the casino. If you go... If you go this way, then you go to the amusement park, which amusement park, and then you enter. It has a 
cool vibe to it. It's uh, it's like elevated a little bit. So it has here the lower part with a bunch of shops and the beach here. It has a, a few roller coasters as well. It has a Gula's hamster statue, a carousel, which turns. <laughs> it has a roller coaster, a zoo, a bunch of shops, a little waterfall here. So yeah, so this is the amusement park. And uh, so then, so this is Laurent Island, guys. Then over here, there's another island which has a little town over here. And over here, there is the main oil drilling facility. And then there's kind of like this. It's not. Yeah, it's not ghetto. Well, more over here, it's not that nice. But over here, there are a bunch of homes for the for people that work there, and just uh, they're cheaper than on the island, so you know they sell pretty quickly. And it's a very very dense neighborhood. I like it a lot. It's pretty cool. And uh, there's a nice park over here, which is pretty long. And here it has a nice obelisk. And this path then leads to everywhere. So I like this park a lot because it kind of connects the whole neighborhood together. And I had I made my uh, my own uh, bus terminus over here. Pretty cool looking. So this is the oil island, and uh, so yeah, let's go back to the city. So over here, there's uh, a pretty large industrial area. And over here, there is, it's called Huntington Mine, sorry, Huntington Mine. And uh, yeah, there, it's a main, main mining drilling area. Then this is Huntington over here, a little town of Huntington. And over here on top of the hill, which is very, very cool. As you're driving, you see, oh, what is that? And then you turn left and you arrive at the Overlook Hotel, which has a little spa here, a sauna, and very, very, very nice view. So that was the the lookout point that I showed you guys earlier in the video. So this is over here is the hotel. So quite some some quite nice views. If you want to see what the hotel looks like, you know you can see it. It's it looks pretty cool. So I showed you guys this area. Now I'll show you guys. What do I have? I have a few other areas over here I have some projects you see these buildings over here which turn out to look pretty cool and uh, yeah I, I really like how these project buildings are placed and it's cool because they're very close to downtown so that's interesting from an urban point of view over here there is the main um, industrial area and this is called um, what is it called? I forgot. Foggy Cape because of all the pollution. Because there's actually people that live here. And then here is the main train yard. This big thing over here is where all the trains change direction and whatnot. And there's a cargo station here. And then there's one here. And they all have to turn around. And this over here is the main train line which comes through here. And then it has to... It just has to do a bunch of loops here, so that's why I got created. This over here is, is uh, with the Rico mod. I tried to create a very industrial-looking area with all of these silos and the nuclear plant and everything. So I find this turned out pretty cool. So it's a very industrial boulevard, colossal mills, and um, yeah. Then over here, this is Gooseville, which is a very urban area that developed due to the um, industrial boom right over here this building is abandoned by the way guys and uh, then over here you're not like beyond this canal it's not really Montreal anymore
but I'll show you that after. This is a very cool little um, turnaround over here. Pretty cool looking. Then over here is Aberdeen, which is built on, on this hill. Whew, I've been talking for a lot, guys. This is this going to be a long video. Oh, my God. I didn't expect it to be this long, making a recap of my city. It's it's, whew, it's tiring. Okay, so this is Aberdeen. This is the main road, which I like it because it's, it's a very, very heavy neighborhood, you know. It just looks very – yeah, let me adjust the light. It looks very I, – I don't know. I just like it a lot because these buildings look heavy and very and they're nice and just very um like 50s 60s or even 30s i don't know i just i like it a lot and then you go back down and then it continues so as you can see like this is a pretty massive city if you guys didn't realize but uh okay and then you get here this, this is a, it's a very cool park actually which is elevated a little bit so you have very nice views of downtown then this is a very cool neighborhood it's called garnet square over here and it has walls around it to to keep it private because it's a bunch of homes it's a pretty wealthy area and it has these trees here to give it privacy and i find this is a pretty cool concept of doing something like that to separate it from all these office buildings then uh over here there is a cool university by the like near this river over here which is very very nice I like it a lot by the way guys this all this map completely was built by me everything you see here by me the I built a map the map from scratch so uh, yeah and I don't know how I can give you guys this map if a bunch of you guys have been asking me if I can release the, the map, but I just do not know how to release the map since, uh, I mean, I don't know, maybe some of you guys can enlighten me, but I do not know how to do it without, because um, first of all, I have all these buildings loaded onto it, placed onto it, and then I have all these mods and things, and I don't know how to give you guys just the map without the buildings. Okay, and here is uh, Delilah, which is the main commercial it's like a very 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 big shopping uh, district with lots of lots of lots of shops and uh, big stores and uh, things like that yeah and uh, it has a train station over here and then over here I, I like this a lot how these townhouses look that's very cool so then over here you can come into this very very wealthy neighborhood and if if you guys yes you enter here and it is a breathtaking place yeah the trees are not are loading pretty weirdly but look at this main boulevard i mean it's straight out of dreams it's very very cool looking and at this point we're pretty far from downtown as you can see and but look how cool the city looks from here anyway they have a lot of nature here a lot <laughs> but yeah so a lot of nature and uh, train station here waterfalls and they're an island so they have water all around them this map has a lot of water on it, as you can see. So, yeah, I like how these rivers here connect. And then they, they, they come into the canal, which is very cool. All right, so let's go upstream. And uh, over here, basically, we're the national park now. So look how pristine and serene this is. Very, very cool. I'll show you guys um, a very cool castle up here. So this is pretty, pretty interesting. And 
yeah so if you continue this whole area over here is a large large national park then over here is a little so over here there's a train there's a what am i saying there's the ski hill the little town over here and then over here there's uh some lodges and whatnot to accommodate the skiers we are now during the summer so you know there's no snow or anything but this over here are the slopes are the runs where people ski and then you come up here and this is the these are the chairlifts as you can see and then you come here there's a little little village here and then you can go down and there's quite a few runs then there's a bunch of little towns nestled here and there you know and if you come up here, there's a little town of Jasper over here. Very, very small town, actually. And if you continue, there's a tram that passes over here. That's pretty cool. This little town of Tiffany. Let me just adjust the lighting. Okay, so this is a little town of Tiffany, which, if you guys forgot, we are on a mountain. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's pretty high up. It's a very cool looking town. Very nice homes. And the tramway, the tram over here, you see, starts from over here, and then it goes all the way up. Then over here, and then it passes through here. Goes all the way down. Then passes here. Then comes here on this viaduct. And, uh,. Then it comes over here into town. Doom! So, uh, yeah. And uh, this over here, very, very cool looking with this road. Phew. That's very cool. Then, so it's very, very scenic. You know, guys, like, this is incredibly scenic. If, if I had seen something like this in my life, like, I would completely lose my shit. This is a town of Burn over here, which is... Uh, very cool place with a park over here in the middle then uh, if you continue here's a little town of Magnolia which over here has a little motel and here a little redneck settlement <laughs> and then if you continue down here past these little houses over here down these very cool looking roads you you arrive in the town of Huntington and you over here so this is a national you, you've left the national park you know but now we're going back inside the grounds of the national park and if you take this road over here which is the highway actually look how beautiful this is like so pristine guys and um and you arrive here, you can come down. Over here is a town of Edmonston, which is a pretty big town, as you guys can see. And let me adjust the lighting. Alright. So Edmonston right over here, which very, very cool. Built on this crazy um very, very, very rugged terrain. That's what that's what makes it so interesting actually. And it has these, this waterfall over here, which gotta take a second to see how interesting and intricate it looks. And uh, over here, there's a highway that just just flows through it. Like, okay, let me go. Okay, you see, and it's just a very, very, very cool looking place. And uh, it, it goes all along this, this uh, ridge over here. And the town is down here. And this is like the road into town. Like, ooh, malo, that's steep. But anyway, so this is the biggest mountain on the map, Mount Titanus. And look, look how cool this little valley here looks. This is very, very cool looking. I like this valley a lot. This is Mount Mojo over here, the second tallest peak. 
I love a lot this little ridge here. The way it looks. This is another tall mountain. So th these are the the main mountains. I will be building more though. But you know there's some smaller ones like over here. Then here if you go if you upstream where it becomes a little stream here. Here there's some ruins of like an old castle and you enter here and uh there's like a very very cool place with ruins and uh towers and such you see and the castle here and paths for tourists here and another ruin of a castle and over here which is not a ruin this time is the medieval town of what is it called Kensington, which has been here for a long, long, long time, way before any of all this was here, except the mountains. And uh, yeah, it's, it still has a little medieval look to it with the walls around it and this tower and a few older buildings. But mainly now it's just like very, very small homes. It has like 600 inhabitants, you know, it's not a big, a big deal. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, so I, I want to finish now by showing everything to the right of the highway so that I don't miss anything. And I think I basically, I did a good job. I showed everything to the right of the highway. So let's start here with Cape Lennon now, which is a separate little, separate city, but that obviously grows because of this. But it has its own um, um, economic and it has its own offices and everything right over here let me change the light yeah it has its own offices here so it's pretty uh, independent you know and over here on this main road it has a lot of buildings actually so uh, that's that's very cool And uh, it, it's a very, very, it's it's all because of the residential boom that happened here like 10 years ago that they created all these super, super tall skyscrapers and that they did so on all the little islands they could find. Like literally, like every space has been uh, occupied. So there are all these islands were very, very, are very densely populated now. And they have beaches and everything, and, and very, very luxurious islands, right? So, uh, I like how cool this is, how you enter under this gatehouse. So, uh, very cool places. There was a building here and got the, Lee, got the asset, I guess. What, it was erased or something. But, uh, so very, very populated. And what's cool is that this road, um, how this road just goes through the whole place and then comes over here to the slick isles which are a very very um remote place for the very wealthy individuals and it's a very calm and relaxing place very far from all the issues i mean issues of life i mean to get here is so hard but uh so uh this is this sunlight is kind of annoying me, always having to adjust it. Anyway, so this is how you enter the town, which is very cool. And then you just continue. So there's three bridges to enter the island. It has a few uh, mount hills as well. And a lo lots of very vast urban neighborhoods as well just uh, suburbs you know what I mean that's a lot of these with beaches as well which is pretty pretty cool and uh, yeah so it has uh, then there's there's like a bunch of shops over here and whatnot and if you go down over here there is the military base you see so military base which provides protection for everyone here over here there's the military 
like the soldiers where they live. And uh, over here, just more homes. These are just like for people like you and I. But here's the airport, which is not done, but functions for now very well. And which has over here a little economic um, center over here for the airport. It has a few towers for the main companies. What is cool is that like from over here, there's like these two highways that separate the one that leads this one over here that leads to um, downtown Montreal but over here these two lead uh, into downtown Cape Lennon and over here become boulevards so the speed is greatly reduced and they come into condo land this is Cape Lennon over here which uh, is pretty massive So, over here, uh, then there's other little districts. This is Col Colaribian. Uh, this, then over here is like a pretty cool uh, location. I like this little area here. This little forest. There's a few hills here and there. This is a Saint Berman, which is a pretty old town. Which is com it's like a completely different town. It's not even uh, re remotely related to Montreal. It doesn't have. It's not like uh, a suburb of Montreal or. But I mean, I guess so many people that live here work here. But initially, it was a a, a, a separate a separate town. And here, there's a few hills with uh, little roads uh, winding up and down these hills, and uh, with houses on them. A few farmlands, and same thing for here for the hills. Then over here there is Stonington, which used to be pretty small, just like this area with a little church, but uh, it grew quite a lot. And uh, then recently, in the past few years, it it got all these new condo towers over here by the train station. So lucky, lucky, lucky for them, you know. Lucky them. Good for them. And here, a nice little lake, which, uh, you know, so so uh, Stonington became quite a high-end town. Here's the, the hospital, which is cool, uh, which is located on a little hill here, which is very cool. And uh, then another thing is down these roads over here in this little valley. There is Fletcher's University, which I have built just in the last episode. So if you guys didn't see it, uh, just totally just go watch it, right? You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, so this is Fletcher's University, uh, hidden in these hills. Has all these cool paths over here for the students to have a good time. And uh, then here is a, is a nice tower, which is open to the public and for students. And they come here and they have breathtaking views of the whole shablang so and then so basically this was montreal guys um i still have all this area over here to build on and over here there's still a bunch of room and uh here here's an interchange i didn't show you guys which looks pretty interesting i find and uh yeah, so there's, I guess I've sh covered most of what was interesting to show, what I thought was interesting, and I mean, this video is probably like an hour by now, so it's enough. <laughs> so uh, let me know what you guys thought, guys. Uh, this was Montreal. I um, almost coming to an end, still got like some room here that I can build on but I just wanted to make a little recap on what I built and what my city looks like so far so thanks for watching a bunch and thanks for uh, this whole journey with me on my channel and um, I really really appreci appreciated it it's been uh, roughly around six months since I started this and I had a wonderful time and 
I love uh, surpassing myself in my builds and I love getting feedback from you guys. I love um, just um, the whole, um, the whole, how can I call it, but this, uh, the whole adrenaline related to, to the YouTube um, career. I, I know I, I can't call it a career really because it is a small channel and it is not making me any money so definition of career not really but it's a little project of mine that's a better word so thanks for watching again guys and i'll see you guys in the next episode take it easy